The McGinley Dynamic is a little-known yet highly reliable indicator invented by John McGinley, a certified market technician. Working within the context of moving averages, McGinley sought to invent a responsive indicator that would adjust itself in relation to the speed of the market. The indicator itself resembles a lot like a moving average. Well, McGinley found that moving averages had many problems. In the first place, they were inappropriately applied. Moving averages in different periods operate with varying degrees in different markets. For example, how to know when to use a 10-day, a 20-day or a 50-day moving average in a fast or slow market. In order to solve the problem of choosing the right length of the moving average, the McGinley dynamic was built to adjust to the current speed of the market. McGinley believed that moving averages should only be used as a smoothing mechanism rather than a trading system or signal generator. McGinley found that moving averages failed to follow prices since large separations frequently exist between price and the moving average lines. He sought to eliminate these problems by inventing an indicator that would hug prices more closely, avoid price separations and whipsaws, and follow prices automatically in fast or slow markets. The McGinley dynamic looks like a moving average line, yet it's actually a smoothing mechanism for prices and tracks prices far better than any moving average. Because of his calculation, the dynamic line speeds up in down markets as it follows price, yet moves more slowly in up markets. The key principle with this indicator is that you would want to be quick to sell in a down market, yet ride an up market as long as possible. It greatly avoids whipsaws because the dynamic line automatically follows and stays aligned to prices in any market, fast or slow, like a steering mechanism of a car. That's why traders can rely on it to make decisions and time entrances and exits. McGinley invented the dynamic line to act as a market tool rather than a trading indicator. But whatever it's used for, the McGinley dynamic is quite a fascinating instrument that is more responsive to the raw data than simple or exponential moving averages. It aims to solve the problem inherent to all moving averages, their reliances on fixed time periods. Here's the logic behind this indicator. In order to understand why McGinley dynamic is so special, let's first take a look at how conventional moving averages operate. A 10 period simple moving average takes the 10 last closing prices and divides them by 10. A 20 period SMA will do the same but with 20. Old and new results receive the exact same treatment. An EMA works in a similar fashion but allocates more weight to recent prices, which makes it perfectly suited for short term trading. But how do you know when to use a 10, a 20 or a 50 period moving average? McGinley Dynamic aims to solve this problem as it will automatically adjust itself to slow and fast markets, while moving averages tend to lag behind the actual price performance displaying dated information most of the times. McGinley Dynamic will follow the prices more closely. You can think of McGinley Dynamic as a better version of a CMA or an EMA. Let's compare this tool with a simple moving average. We added the McGinney dynamic with a 20 period input and a 20 period simple moving average. The McGinney dynamic reacts to price increases sooner than the simple moving average, while also tracking closer to prices and reducing whipsaws. You can see that McGinney moves faster in bearish markets and slower in bullish markets in order to give the market a chance to develop the necessary dynamics. Now that you know the differences between the moving averages and the McGinley dynamic, we can take a look at the three ways this tool can be used to help you to find trades, ride trends and exit trades in a reliable way. First approach, trend direction and filter. Similar to a moving average approach, we can use the McGinley dynamic to stay on the right side of the market and to filter out trades in the wrong direction. Just this one tip can already make a huge difference in your trading when you only start trading with a trend in the right direction. McGinley Dynamic will help you to cut down the amount of noise on a price chart. 
look at the direction of the dynamic line to get a basic idea of which way the price is moving. If it's angled up, the price is moving up, or was recently, overall. Angled down, and the price is moving down overall. Moving sideways, and the price is likely in a range. As a general guideline, if the price is above the dynamic line, the trend is up. If the price is below it, the trend is down. As always, keep an eye on price action. Try to read the market and make trading decisions based on the recent and actual price movements, rather than relying solely on this tool. You will have better results when you blend this indicator into price action. Here are a few examples of trending markets using the McGinley dynamic. The second thing the dynamic line can help you with is support and resistance trading and also stop placement. Because of the self-fulfilling prophecy, you can often see that the popular moving averages work perfectly as support and resistance levels. Because the McGinley dynamic is basically a moving average, a better one, and because, more than anything, moving averages work because they are a self-fulfilling prophecy, this means that price action respects moving averages because so many traders use them in their own trading. This raises a very important point. You have to stick to the most commonly used moving averages to get the best results. Moving averages work when a lot of traders use and act on their signals. Thus, go with the crowd and only use the popular periods, like the 10, 20, 50, 100 and 200. As its name suggests, the indicator may be used as a dynamic area of support and resistance. One important note, the dynamic line is not perfect and you can see that many times the price may go up past it before moving back into the main trend and there's no getting around this. It's best to think of McGinley dynamic as an area rather than a precise point and as always to have a stop loss in place. In fact, you can keep yourself reminded of this by using two McGinley dynamics instead of just one and use the area bounded between these two lines as a zone of supply or support or resistance as the case may be. Dynamic support and resistance can be found where the dynamic line intersects with the current price. Let's take a look at this Aussie dollar chart. We'll look for dynamic support and resistance supplied by the 10 and 20 dynamic lines. Notice how the 10 and 20 dynamic lines appear to be providing support and resistance. These two lines can be powerful aids, but only used in combination with the right confluence factors. Let's look at a setup where these dynamic lines converge with other several factors. Notice how the pin bar in this example rejected the 10 period McGinley dynamic and at the same time rejected the key price action level. We also have an uptrend and no immediate resistance above this key level. This was an A plus setup. Take note that the 10 period McGinley dynamic was only a fraction of why this was an A plus setup. Like I said before, price action first complemented by this tool. Here are other examples of trades using the McGinley dynamic as a dynamic support or resistance. The McGinley dynamic tool is only as useful as the other confluence factors that are present on any given trade setup. Although it offers several advantages over classic moving averages, at its core is still a lagging indicator because it's based on previous price action. The only thing that isn't lagging is a raw price action, but this is okay because we can use this useful tool as an additional confluence factor to our price action trading strategies. Which period for the McGinley dynamic should you use? The answer is subjective. There is no right way to use this indicator. Every trader seems to have their own combination of periods that work best for them. 
I personally use the 50 and the 200 McGinley Dynamic because I have found them to work best with the way I trade price action. You can backtest different periods and add this tool into your trading systems to fit your trading style. As always, if you learned something new and found value, give us a like to show your support and make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay in touch with new uploads. Until next time.